Hi, this is Tommy again in part three of the Fast 80s racing videos, and we're here to talk about the modifications required for the short block to flip the cylinder head. We've had customers ask us if they could send us a cylinder head and just have us modify it. That way they could take it back to their own shop and put it on the engine themselves. Uh, that would not be possible because there are many modifications that need to take place on the short block as well. And we're here to point those out to you. If you come down here, and this is the top of our engine block as it is modified, and you'll see in this corner, right here, and as well as back here, we've actually had to add material to the aluminum deck on the engine block by welding it on and then smoothing it over when we had the, head re the deck resurfaced. We also had to port the oil return galleys here, 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 and here. This allows it to match up to the cylinder head and gets good oil flow with the head reversed. The other thing we have to modify is the pistons themselves. Even though the pistons are reversed to match the cylinder head, we have to cut this valve relief a little bit, a little bit bigger that way it would clear the intake valve because it is not a perfect lineup when it's all reversed backwards. Now if you come over here, we have our actual Neil Brown head gasket, which we used as a template for modifying the deck of the, of the block. And if for comparison, we've also brought out a standard H22 head gasket. Now when you lay them on top of each other, you'll see where the differences are. And you can see mainly here in the oil return galleys. Here. For the most part, the back lines up, except for a little bit of a modification we had to cut out on the block back here. These gaskets run almost $400 after shipping and fees are applied. So we, we try to use this one as many times as we can. We got five engine builds out of this gasket. Normally you throw them away after one usage. So it's exceeded its life expectancy several times over, and it's had a good run, but it's time to order another one, and we'll have another one here by the end of the week to put our engine back together. Stay tuned for another episode of Fast Ladies Racing where we'll talk a little bit more about what needs to be done if you want to make this modification. And we'll see you soon.